Hello YouTube and welcome back to my how to make a kill machine. This is the last video, this is the blueprint setup. So okay, let's get started. Right now you should have everything installed and you should be able to follow along at this point. You want to place down a character, an NPC. We're using this guy here. I don't provide this character but I do provide um, a robot character so feel free to use that. Right click on him and go to edit his name whatever it is and under here you want an on component begin overlap so right right click and type in on you want this one here look type in on component begin overlap and come out from there and go into do once so you'd come out from here and type in do once and you want this one here under flow control that all depends if you just want at one time to be able to offer the mission make sure start close is unchecked and then from completed come out and go to set dialog language type it that in type in set dialog language like this type in set dialog language and it's this one under class under dialog system then you get that, type in English in the box here if that's your preferred language and you make sure this one's checked, get save game language then from there, drag out and type in create advanced dialog then you'll get this box, make sure these two are unchecked and type in your dialog what you want the character to say and then from when dialog end, ended do a print string and type in something like dialog ended make sure print to screen and print to log is checked and checked choose any color you want in the duration and from when dialog is skipped type in another print string and type in dialog skipped make sure both are checked again with whatever color you want for the text and the duration how long you want it to last and then from reply question one type in create dialog and type in whatever dialog you want him to say after uh, what you want him to reply to because it's going to come up with two um, options at the end what you want to select and if you select the first one which is you'll accept the mission this is what it will reply with but if you select the no this is what it will reply with under correct dialogue and make sure both of these are unchecked and if it's a no feel free to just create the dialogue with some dialogue action uh, some dialogue text then leave it there but if, if it's a yes it'll say you later smack down on him good and proper and from there you want to spawn AI from class because we have any enemy spawn in after he's given the mission otherwise you'd be able to kill the enemy and you complete the mission before receiving the mission which wouldn't be very good gameplay design so you want to type, you want to come up from create dialogue on the, the yes answer and type in spawn AI from class then go to a pawn class whatever pawn you want to spawn I've got agent 1 although the physics not working very good at the moment then type in the location a good way to get the location is to do something like place a character down say we wanted him here place a character down and then copy these values on the x y and z into here the location and that's where it will spawn and from there come out and go to get all actors of class and under actor class make sure you've got the same actor you've got in this pawn class and from and then what you would do, say this is your character, right click on him, edit Steve, then under variables, make a new variable, and we'll call it agent1, then of type, click on that, and search in the exact name of your pawn, so we'll type in agent, as you can see agent1 under object types, and then click on object reference and make sure it's open instance editable so now you've got a reference to that pawn so you can choose to use it but we're not going to use that one and that's what this is here where it says set and get don't worry about the get this is set so you come out of here and you type in set whatever your pawn name is and you get this I call it, it my pawn is called agent one ref as in reference so I've typed in set agent one ref and I've got that and from our actors type in get and get a copy of this array 
and from get you want to put you want to drag out the output pin into target and then the other output pin into create marker you type in that if you've got your arm if you've got if you've got your pro horror hud asset pack installed this should be quite straightforward just having create marker and you want the interface call create marker under hud compass interface call so then you've got get into target and then get into actor to mark then under target for create marker you want something get hud manager what you can do is just right click and come down to h for hud and you would want So under target, you will come across and you type in get HUD manager. And then we've done the act to mark from the get array. And from the set, you want to do the caster my character. If that's your weapon component character, that's what it's called by default. You want to cast the character that's your player character. Then under object, you want to get player character. And then under as my character, you want to come out and you want to get the player camera, the camera for the arm, the actual player character, whatever it's called. Under weapon components called player character, so you type in um, get player camera and choose the one that's appropriate for your player character. Then the player camera goes into player camera and as my character also goes into player character. Under marker icon, I've typed an exclamation and chose the right appropriate exclamation. This is the, um, the image that will be shown on the compass to represent the enemy. Then from create, oh yeah, and as cast my character, then the execution pin goes into create marker. Then out of create marker, we go into update marker if you want to change the arm, the marker to something you want. What you've got to do first is if you want to create something you want, click on where it says um, marker icon click on this little um, magnifying glass then go back to your content browser and it's come up with this see the old, it's by default like red and white I can double click on this and you can change it here look with all these settings here whatever you want however you want it to look and if you have if you have changed the marker you want to outcome up, up here up to update marker and target is get hide manager again marker precision that will make it very precise if you leave it on zero it will be quite it won't be that precise to the target so put it on one and that's fine leave particles visible if you want if that's what you want and come out of there and go to display quest go sorry come out of update marker and go to display quest notification then target is get hard manager interface call display time i only want text to display on screen i've shown seven and a half seconds then out of quest notificator sorry out of quest Notificator info come out of here. Make sure context sensitive menu is checked and check on this one. Make S quest notificator info and it'll bring up this. I've chosen the exclamation mark again, don't worry about icon style. Quest type I've typed in side mission. Um quest headline, kill that son of a bitch. Quest text, it says there's a robot in Metro download causing problems for some of the locals. I want to el eliminate that stupid motherfucker. I've got text frame particles on as well as icon frame particles. And that's fine for that. Then what you want to do, you want to open up your um I'm using the AI toolkit. Open up your um enemy and hopefully you should, wherever it wherever the death is called like on the um here it's got event any damage i have a quick scroll through so you can have a look at my settings feel free to slow it down i'm not teaching this because it should be with your ai toolkit you want to find the death movement you want to find the death um event and then the last one should be set collision enabled 
come off of there and go to display update notification into target is get hard manager interface call um <coughs> And then update uh, notificator info. We come out of here like that, and we type make sure context sensitive menu is selected. And we click on this one, make s update notificator info. We've got notifier headline with exclamation mark. The bastard is dead. Another one bites the dust, and it lasts for 5.725 seconds. Then we come out of there. We're going to display global notification with um, the target's GitHub manager interface call. This lasts for seven seconds. It says congratulations on completing this mission, and the headline text is mission complete. And we come. Sorry about the seagulls fucking kicking off on my rooftop. They're annoying. Right, and then we come out of here, and we go to remove marker. Target is GitHub Manager interface call, and actor to mark is self. Actor to mark is self. And then we come out there. We do a delay. For 10 seconds and then we destroy the actor that should be all good to go so if we play it now As you can see, we'll run into him. Oh, what I should tell you is, um, what I should show you. So we've got the text. Then we've got, okay, I will. You laid a smack down good and proper. And now the agent has become available. Can you see him over there? For some reason the update marker hasn't come on the screen. But if we shoot him, there's a battle is dead, mission complete. Don't worry about the funky physics. What I should say, on Steve, to get that on component begin overlap to work properly, what we would do is go to viewport, add a capsule collision, make sure it's turned to the side and it sticks out of his body a bit like that, and make sure it's turned attached to the mesh and I've called it interaction and that's what you want to set. Okay, thanks for watching for YouTube. If you liked it at all, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Until next time, YouTube, take care of yourselves, stay safe, be lucky, and I'm signing out. Get ready.